Lord, good night, good things in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege uh, once again, beloved and friends, to be here this night uh, to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness uh, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, my beloved and friends, uh, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Is that awesome? Is that great? Is that mighty that God give us an assurance that he will be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he promised to be with us he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling let's give a hand to you. Welcome tonight, uh, those who are here tonight, uh, those who are listening to me online from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street, with your phone in church, or right here. God bless you richly. From the depths of my heart, uh, I release uh, a blessing sincerely to you tonight, uh, and I pray that God will bless you. God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially financially, educationally, every year in your life, uh, I pray that God will bless you and prosper you. I pray and I release a blessing upon your homes. I release a blessing upon your children. I release a blessing upon your marriage. I release a blessing upon your finances, your business, and your job tonight. And I pray that God will bless and prosper. Everything you do will be prosperous. In Jesus' name, I cover you under the precious blood tonight. And I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter. I break every evil. I break every work of darkness. Every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether first and second or third or fourth generational curses. I break in the name of Jesus for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. I thank you tonight, Lord, for setting the captive free. I thank you for blessing your people and I thank you for building a hedge around their lives tonight. And I pray tonight, oh Father, I pray tonight you said in your words, healing is a children bread. And the first covenant you make with man was the covenant of healing. For you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. My friends and beloved, before I get into the word of God, I want to say that uh, Boris Johnson is out of the race and he's no longer running. But I know that next week Monday, most likely Rishi Sunak will be the next uh, Prime Minister for the UK. Praise the Lord. Let's get into the word of God this, this night. Uh, my friends, allow me to tell you t -t tonight, today, tonight, the real reason we are going to heaven. My friends, there is a real heaven and a real hell tonight. Uh, and this, as Jeremy says, uh, this world is not our home. We are just passing through and I want to encourage you and tell you tonight uh, that mankind has uh, a lifespan upon this earth uh, three score and ten which is 70 and by the reason of strength if you get if you get 80 90 and 100 years the queen got 96 years but my friends uh, this world here is not our home when God sent us here it's like when you have a job whether a top job or a low job and he's given us enough time to make a decision God has given us a, a free choice in this lifetime to choose where we will spend eternity. You see, friends, we all came from God. This body of flesh, blood, and bone will perish, but the soul cannot die. The soul lives on for all eternity because the soul came from God. God breathed the breath into man and man became a living soul. That is why we will not die. There is only two places we can spend eternity, either heaven or hell. And tonight I want to speak to you that make sure that you have a full assurance and you fully know that you're going to heaven when you leave this earth. This sin, sick, sin and sick world my friends allow me to tell you tonight the real reason we are going to heaven my friends and beloved 
Hallelujah. The real reason we are going to heaven tonight. I need to, we need to understand, my friends, why we are going to heaven and the real reason why we are going to heaven tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Let's get into the scripture. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 7 tells us, Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. He says in his words, And in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. But I, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, he says, I, I will come again. I will come again and receive you unto myself. Yes, my friends and beloved, Jesus said that. And where I am there ye may be also. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great and mighty? Let's give him a hand tonight. And whether I go, whether I go, no. The way he now, my friends, he says, Thomas said, Thomas said unto him, he says, Lord, we know not whether thou voice, and how can we know the way? Thomas says to the Lord, Jesus said unto him, listen carefully, powerful scripture, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the way and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me, hallelujah, if he had known me, he says, you would have known my Father also and, and from henceforth, from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him, hallelujah, praise God, thank you Jesus you are not going to heaven my friends because you are a good person tonight there are plenty of good people in hell did you get that there are plenty of good people in hell right now being a good moral person does not get you one second in heaven my friends you are not going to heaven because of the amount of money you have given yes my friends you are not going to heaven my friends because of the amount of people you have helped, your last name, your last name, the amount of time you pray, or would do, do anything, my friends. But you tonight and me tonight, my friends, the real reason we are all going to heaven is because of one man, one man who came to this earth at over 2,000 years ago, my friends, and died for your sins, your sins sins and my sins hallelujah for our sins Jesus Christ died for our sins. We deserve hellfire tonight. Yes, we deserve, my friends, eternal destruction. We deserve to experience the full wrath of God without limit, my friends. We deserve to be in that place where, my friends, the rich man went and the story of the rich man in Lazarus, my friends, the Bible says, the Bible says, and it came to pass, it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Yes, the rich man also died, yes, and was buried, my friends, hallelujah and in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torments he was in torments my friends we deserve to go to that place of weeping and gashing of teeth my friends and beloved but the bible tells us the bible tells us in john chapter 3 verse 16 what it says i said this morning for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish, uh, should not perish, uh, but have everlasting life. My friends, it is the love of God. It is the love of God for us, uh, from, save us from the place. It is the love of God that save us uh, from eternity of the eternity of hell. Jesus Christ came, my friends, uh, and paid the price, uh, paid the price for all of us. 
cross. Hallelujah. He paid the price for you and I are going to heaven because of what Jesus did for us, my friends, on the cross of Calvary. He went and took, took on death. My friends, he laid down his life. He laid down his life. He allowed death to be taken, taking him through the portals of the allow it to, to, to close its gates behind him. Death threw everything at it and at him, my friends. Yes, beloved, he went down into a place and performed the task. He performed the task that no one else could perform, my friends and beloved. No man do this. No man have ever done this. No woman could do, do, do this. Yes, no angel could do this, my friends. But he could hallelujah he could he's the only one who could have and for three days death and hell true it had won it had won my friends but on the third day something happened he rose again let's give a lord a big hand and he and that is why our lord jesus christ said that is why he said in the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 18 what he says my friends i am he that liveth i am he that liveth and was dead and behold i am alive forevermore amen give the lord a big hand and have the keys have the keys of hell and of death. Hallelujah. Shikanama Santo Leriende. Every believer is not a, a citizen of this uh, world, my friends. We we are citizens of heaven. We are citizens of heaven. God is our Father, and we are His sons and daughters tonight, my friends. Therefore, therefore, we are entitled to be where He is. Are you with me? Jesus said that we that that there are many mansions in heaven and that he was going to, to prepare a place for us so my friends that we can be together we can be together but where he is my friends the major reason we are all going to heaven is not is because of the love of God are you hearing me tonight it's because of the love of God as far as heaven is concerned our self-righteousness can not qualify us to enter in tonight my friends we are not supposed to go to heaven because the entire human race rebel rebel against God in Adam yes my friends however however this night we will go to heaven we will go to heaven because of the love of God outweighs our sins and unrighteousness my friends when mankind sinned with Adam, God, God had every right. God had every right with him being a God of justice to complete over it man and my friends and leave man to face the consequence of sin. But my friends and, and we all know, we all know the wages of sin. The wages of sin is death. Yes, my friends, but God will have been fully justified in doing this. My friends, he will be completely right to do this, my friends. But uh, the wonderful thing about God tonight uh, is, my friends, that uh, not only is he a God of justice, uh, he is a God, he is a God of love tonight. Uh, let's give him a big time. The love of God is where he created the plan. He created the plan of salvation for you and for me, for us. Uh, whilst we were yet sinners, my friends. Uh, yes, uh, the Bible says the love of God is so great. Uh, the love of God is so great. Uh, and immeasurable the extent of his love towards humanity is in, in indescribable tonight david thought of how great the love of god is towards us and my friends he exclaimed in psalms 8 psalms 8 verse 4 to 5 saying what he says what is what is man that thou art mindful of him yes he says and the son of man the son of man that thou visit him visited him for thou hast has made him a little lower, a lower than the angels, and has crowned him 
with glory and honor. Yes, and come him with glory and honor. Looking at all the creations of God. Man, my friends, is indeed special to God. Man is special to God and for anything but because God chose to lavish his love on us. Man is the last creation of God. And yet, my friends, God has chosen him above all creatures and has given him given him preference over the angels in heaven my friends and beloved men david look look at the extent of god's love for humans my friends he could not but ask the question yes what is man what is man in other words david david did not understand the reason behind all that god is doing my friends for humanity hallelujah and why he was chosen to give us preferences yes over all that he has made my friends and beloved like David Job also says Job says in Job chapter 7 verses 17 to 18 what Job says he says what is man what is man that thou shouldest should magnify him and that thou shouldest set him set thy heart upon him O father and that thou shouldest visit him every morning and try him every moment try him every moment O father in, in these depths in the depth reflection of Job he began to wonder wonder about the great inclination that God has has with us as uh, mortals although he is immortal this, this night uh, Job brought back uh, to mind Job brought back to mind that God visited Adam and Eve at the cool of each day yes he visited Adam and Eve and wonder why God desire such a fellowship with us as human beings the greatest reason god created us my friends is so that we can be in communal fellowship with him my friends hallelujah with him that was the reason god visited adam and eve every day in the garden of eden hallelujah god wants an unbroken relationship with my friends us yes are you hearing me tonight he desires that we continue Continue be, continue be in his presence. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand tonight for his good love. It is hard for so many people to believe this, my friends, and this struggle to understand this. But God loves you tonight. I says God loves you. He simply loves you, my friends and family and beloved and loved ones. When you wake up in the morning, he loves you. When you lay down to rest at night, my friends, he simply loves you. Yes, yes, my friends, you, you tonight, when you go do things you should not be doing, doing, he still loves you, my friends, when you go places, you should not go my friends he loves you when you care when you care in a lovable way he loves you my friends yes you god loves god loves you tonight hallelujah get into your get it into your head he loves you tonight my friends <coughs> come on now say it to me god loves me God loves me tonight. God loves me. Say to me, God loves me tonight. God loves you, friend. You need to know that God is looking out for you. Yes, and he is opening doors for you tonight. Hallelujah. We are not going to heaven because we deserve it. We are not going to heaven because we have all the criteria to make it, my friends. And we are not going to heaven primarily because we are holy tonight. Yes, our self righteousness will amount to nothing tonight but the filthy rag God says before God on, on, on your holiest on your holiest and righteous is still filthy is still filthy in the eyes of God God loves us dearly my friends he will not want any of us to perish 
tonight. God loves you whether you feel like it or not tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God love is not the, is the real reason we are going to heaven. In fact, salvation, which is a necessary process for us to become the people of God, was my friends a plan, a plan made out of the greatness of his love. Yes, the plan, everything we required to make it to heaven has been provided by God Almighty through his love, my friends, that we will by no means miss it my friends don't miss it not by righteousness or holiness but by the extravagant love of god tonight for us my friends hallelujah thank you jesus god loves us so much tonight that he doesn't force heaven upon us my friends he gave us the choice the choice and he has given us the choice tonight to repent and believe we can go to heaven hallelujah repent and believe we can go to heaven or the choice not to repent and spend an eternity separated from God Almighty my friends tonight we need to understand the choice is yours God has given us a free choice make the right choice and choose heaven tonight my friends when God was looking for a way to reconcile man back to himself all his years he looked at his son Jesus who was from the beginning and he said son I have to send you to earth in the form of flesh and you have to die for my children you have to die for their sins and Jesus was wondering God oh father what are you doing to me but when Jesus was on earth and when he was the age of 33, 33 years yes he went to the garden of Gethsemane and there he was praying and he says father father if it's possible if it is possible not my will but thine will be done and he was praying an intense prayer and disciples were there in the garden of Gethsemane with him but they could not watch one hour with him they were all asleep and Jesus was praying intensely and as he was praying father if it is possible let this cup pass for me but nevertheless not my will but thine will be done and he began to sweat blood the first time he sweat blood my friends when the soldiers came and arrested him and he went before the Sahedrin council the soldiers plucked the beard from his face imagine how hard they pulled that the flesh came out with the beard and dropped on the ground on the floor my friends and his blood was dripping on the floor that's the second time the third time the soldiers ram a crumb of thorn they make a crumb of thorn and ram it in his head and his blood dripped to the ground the third time, the fourth time he was beaten with a cat and nine tail, with 39 strikes upon his back, his flesh was ripped and marred and scattered on the floor with his blood, my friends, and he had to take the cross upon that scarred back to Calvary, my friends, there on Calvary, with his hands on stretcher, and they hammered the spike nail in the palm of his hands, and this is blood flows and drip to the ground they plat his feet on the cross and hammer the spike nail in his feet and the blood flows to the ground the soldiers wrap his spear in his side the seventh time and his blood flows to the ground my friend jesus shed his blood seven times for you and for me he shed his blood there is no remission of sin by the shedding of blood my friends hallelujah jesus paid the price for you and for me he died for you my salvation and your salvation salvation is a gift from God that is why Jesus said in his words he is not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance repent repent my friends and be 100% sure that you are going to heaven and you will live for the Lord and spend eternity forever for this world is not your home this world will end very soon. Take it from the prophet. This world is heading for destruction. This world is in chaos and in disaster. And this world is not your permanent at home. But make sure you make the right choice. Make sure you are saved. And your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Tonight, my friends, those who are sick, I did not forget to pray for you. Whether you are sick tonight, I'm going to send for the anointing. Whatever sickness and pain and disease you have 
tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. Whether you have cancer, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, you have a respiratory disease. Whatever sickness you have, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame tonight. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety. If you have a migraine headache or pain all over your body or sick unto death or demon possessed tonight. I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ will touch you and heal you wherever you are right now. In the name of Jesus, as I said for the anointing, prepare to receive that miracle from the hands of God right now in the name of Jesus right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness let's give a lot of big hands for the healings let's give a lot of big hands for the deliverance setting the captive free in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. God bless you richly, beloved and friends. Do have a sweet and wonderful night dress. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. I love you in the love of God. Amen. Praise God.